234. Before you deceive me, you 
your hand ever laid upon me. Too wonderful for me this knowledge, too high beyond my reach. Oh, where can I go from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your face? If I climb the heavens, you are there. If I lie in the grave, you are there. If I take the wings of the dawn and dwell at the sea's furthest end, even there your hand would lead me, your right hand would hold me fast. If I say, let the darkness hide me, and the light around me be mine, if in darkness is not dark for you, and the night is as clear as the day, for it was you who created my being, knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you for the wonder of my being, for the wonders of all your creation. Already you knew my soul, my body held no secret from you. When I was being fashioned in secret and molded in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw my actions. They were all of them written in your book. Every one of my days was decreed before one of them came into being. To me, how mysterious your thoughts, the sum of them not to be numbered. If I count them, they are more than the sand. To finish, I must be eternal like you. O oh God, that you would slay the wicked, men of blood keep far away from me. Oh, if the Savior rebel against you, and set your designs at naught, do I not hate those who hate you, abhor those who rise against you? I hate them with a perfect hate, and they are foes to me. Oh, search me, God, and know my heart. <clears throat> oh, test me and know my thoughts. See that I follow not your own path, and lead me in the path of life eternal. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to the God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Worthy are you to take your scroll and open its seals. He who exalts himself will be humbled, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. We give thanks to you, O God. We give thanks and call upon your name. We recount your wonderful deeds. So when I reach the appointed time, then I will judge with justice. Though the earth and all who dwell in it may rock, it is I who uphold its pillars. To the boastful I say, do not boast. To the wicked, do not flaunt your strength. Do not flaunt your strength on high. Do not speak with insolent pride. For neither from the east nor from the west, nor from desert or mountains comes judgment. But God himself is the judge, one he humbles, another he exalts. The Lord holds the cup in his hand, full of wine, foaming in its eyes. He pours it, they drink it to the dregs, all the wicked on the earth must drain it. As for me, I would rejoice forever, and sing psalms to Jacob's God. He shall break the power of the wicked, while the strength of the just
rejoice shall be exalted. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to the God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. He who exalts himself will be humbled, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. We give thanks to you, Lord God Almighty. We praise you, the Lord God Almighty, who is and who was. You have assumed your great power. You have begun your reign. The nations have raged in anger, but then came your day of wrath. And the moment to judge the dead, the time to reward your servants, the prophets, and the holy ones who are near you, the great and the small alike. Now of salvation and power come, the reign of our God and the authority of his anointed one. For the accuser of our brothers is cast out, who the night and day accuse them before God. By the word of their testimony, love for life did not deter them from death. So rejoice, you heavens, and you that dwell therein. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come. Now and forever. Amen. We give thanks to you, Lord God Almighty. From the first letter of St. Peter. Realize that you were delivered from the futile way of life your fathers handed on to you not by any diminishable sum of silver or gold, but by Christ's blood beyond all Christ, the blood of a spotless, unblemished lamb, chosen before the world's foundation and revealed for your sake in these last days. It is through him that you are believers in God, the God who raised him from the dead and gave him glory. Your faith and hope, then, are centered in God. By obedience to the truth, you have purified yourselves for a genuine love of your brothers. Therefore, love one another constantly from the heart. Your rebirth has come, not from a destructible, but from an indestructible seed, through the living and enduring word of God. My soul proclaims the greatness 
of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who hear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his own. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Almighty 
God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, in peace. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And may the souls of the faithful depart and through the mercy of God rest in peace. Martyrology of August the 6th. Feast of the Transfiguration, when Christ manifested his divine glory, attested to by the Father's voice and by the presence of Moses and Elijah, in order to prepare his disciples for the trial of the cross. This feast is also solemnly celebrated on this day by the Eastern Byzantines, Syrians, and Catholics, whereas the Armenians transfer it to the following Sunday. Elsewhere, the heavenly birth of numerous other saints whose names are inscribed in the Book of Life. We fly to the faith in which all the Mother of God despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. The angel of the Lord declared unto her, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done unto me according to thy word. And the word was made flesh. And the world is among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, most holy Mother of God. That we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, thy Son, was made known by the message of the angel. May by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.